Hello YouTube artists, welcome to In the Studio with Kelly Hernig. Today we're going to discover the Menopause Collection by Art to Basic. These are 12 gorgeous colors and I can't wait to introduce you to this collection. Let's go paint. I bought this watercolor collection a while ago and I wanted to share it here on YouTube because it is one of the most beautiful collections I have ever seen. It has a mix of brights, but also muted tones, and you know I'm all about the muteds. So this set is the Menopause Collection by art to basic and I will have their link down below in the description box. These are the paint colors. Are you ready? Look how gorgeous. I know, I can't wait to start swatching. These do not have color names. They are just numbered from 160 to 171. So that's how I'm gonna refer to them in my um, book here. The sketchbook I'm working in is a Stillman and Burn Beta series. It's eight by 10 and it is not a watercolor book. It is really mixed media paper, but I like it because of the heaviness. Listen to the paper. It's really heavy, there's no buckling, and I just love what it does with my splashing. As we go, I've got a little template made out of a manila folder. It goes like this, so this is gonna be the mass tone color, and then I'm gonna add water to the smaller leaf. And so I've got them sitting like this, so three across and four down, so that we're gonna have some fun with these colors. I'm using a Jackson's Raven brush. I'm gonna try the 3.0. Now this is a quill brush. I like it though because of the point. Look how nice that is. My Da Vinci Casino no longer has a point. I've worn the point off, so I've gone to these Raven brushes. But if I had another Da Vinci, I would be, probably be using that. It is my favorite brush. I'm gonna just wet these to get them started. I don't know that I'm supposed to, but I like to do that with handmade watercolors. Ooh, it's like a grape, I love that. Look at that, so pretty. Wow. Isn't this gorgeous? It looks like grape juice. It is so pretty. I don't usually use violets by themselves, but I love them as a mixing color. I love what violets do to oranges. I love what violets do to blues. And I really love what they do to greens. It almost makes it a more natural, like a color you would find in natural nature for all of those color mixings. Wow, is that pretty. <laughs> I hope that's coming across on the camera. Now I'm gonna just dip my brush in water and then blot it again to get most of the water off. For me, it's important to see the mass tone, but also what the lighter version is. For splashing. I'm gonna dip my three fingers in to like the knuckle. So I dip them in. And then what I'm gonna do is I kind of flick it. So I, only with this finger do I actually hit it, but the rest just kind of go with it, so. And I will usually do that a couple times. I probably won't show you the splashing each time, but I am doing it each time. You'll see from the picture. You can see that it's a little too wet. Can you see that? So I like to splash it when it's just a little bit drier, right as that massive shine goes away because then you get better texture. So I'm gonna splash again. Are you seeing this color? Wow, I need some water. I never remember to add a lot of water. I 
think it's from all my years of painting in acrylics. <laughs> wow, 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 look at how beautiful. That's a really lovely mauve. Dipping my brush in water. This is a pretty color too. When I'm swatching, what I like to ask myself is what would I do with that? And I'm already like asking myself, what kind of green would I add this purple to? It's just so pretty. And this mauve is really quite vintagey feeling. So I'm already thinking about some of the antiques that I collect and how gorgeous this color would be to paint something with it. A little brighter now, look at that color, wow. It's a very transparent color. It would be beautiful as the first underlayer of a magnolia because of its transparency. That's lovely. Rinsing my brush. I like this light version a lot. This one has glitter in it. Let's see if you can see, do you see it in there? Look at that. I like that tone a lot. It's a little richer than that one. I don't know if you can see it, but the clumps of the glitter are coming out. Might have been mixed with some holographic paint. It's very cool. I like the chunkiness of it. That was a nice wonky leaf. <laughs> Try to reshape that prettier. There we go. Are you seeing all the texture on that? Look at that, that's pretty. Let's see if I can get, there you go. Water. This is a really cool color. Let's see what that is. Ooh, it's kind of like a medium violet, so not on the red, not on the blue, right in the middle. I like a neutrally violet. Oh yeah, that's pretty. So this color, we have irises this color in our yard. They look gorgeous painted in this color. Can't wait to see what the light tone is for this. Pretty. Wow. <laughs> Can you believe the tones so far? They're just all so different and I really, really like that. I think the colors are so beautiful. Look at that, they're very earthy. And I didn't expect that. 
So here's what they say about the menopause collection is an intentional curation of colors that symbolize the transformative and empowering journey of women during this phase of life. Explore the richness of 12 mesmerizing colors that traverse the artistic realms from deep dark purple, grounding brown, and shimmering tones to the vivacity of crimson and magenta, the sophistication of gray, and the lustrous elegance of green gold. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, look at this one. That's a bright one. And it should say bright to me. I am a muted girl for sure, or an earthy girl, but this is fabulous. We've got some tulips this color, and that would be great to paint that. Wow, is that pretty? It's intense, but it's pretty. This is a color that I would love to just mix with greens. I know that the kind of magenta colors and greens create the most beautiful earthy greens ever. Now we're going into the muted tones. At least they look like muted in the palette here. Let's see what they actually come out like. Ooh, that's a beautiful color. It almost looks like a beige mauve Violet, that's pretty. Oh yeah, <laughs> need a little bit more water. There we go. How would you define this color if you had to explain it to someone? I would just say it's gorgeous. <laughs> it would be beautiful as a skin tone, I think. It reminds me of warmth, like a cup of cocoa, a warm sweater, some boots. That's what that color reminds me of. It's really pretty. It's almost like a cashmere color. This one looks very purple. I hope it is this color. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I would be excited about these muted colors but I didn't expect to be as excited as I am about those first colors those are really lovely too it's gonna to be fun painting with these I'm gonna share my next video will be a painting with these colors just to see what they do and how they mix with one another so make sure you're subscribed so you can get all my notifications This color is very vintage feeling. I really, really like that. You guys, are you seeing this color? Wow. So gorgeous. Oh, this one's a little grayer. That's lovely. Another great skin tone, I think. It's a little grayer, but I also think it's a little browner. It has a little more brown into it. I think that's such an intriguing collection, having the mix of those brights and earthy feels. It's feeling very earthy, which is probably why I bought it, because I just love the combination of having 12 colors to play with.
Do you see the difference here? This one's a little lighter and it seems a little grayer. This one now feels like a little more mauve is in it. And this one feels like a little more brown is in it. I hope you can see that on camera. Three more to explore, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so fun. This one looks very purpley blue. It looks lovely, a lot of gray. So let's see what this comes out to. I'm always intrigued by what they look like in the paint as dried paint, but then what they actually come out of looking like when they're wet. And then this is the lighter tone of it. It's just really pretty. It's really hard to find soft muted colors like this. And you know I try because I love this. Then we have a blue here and a green. I'm anxious to see what color this is. I'm always on the lookout for like a wintry sky. I'm in Indiana near Chicago, but this looks like our skies during the winter and it's a hard color to make. That's really pretty. This one looks like it's granulated a little bit. It's a gorgeous sky color. It's got the hint of blue, but a lot of gray. That's really pretty. We are on to the green gold. How exciting, it's the last color. Green gold sounds like a bright color, but it looks fairly muted here. So we will see. Oh yeah, look at that. It looks kind of like a greenish turquoise, almost like a cascade green from Daniel Smith, but much softer in tone. Gosh, that's beautiful. Are you seeing that? So pretty. I don't know about you, but my head is like swirling with all these ideas of what I could create with this. I want to pull out a whole bunch of vintage fabric, vintage items. Like I have a lot of casters and some chippy paint like doorknobs and hardware. And I think this would be a fun thing to explore, especially you've got these two great colors up here. And then you've got these muted, but then you also have that one. That one I think is very, very much a vintage color. This one could be too. And I think this one is probably the brightest, but if I touch any of this, these colors into that, especially that one would dull it just a little bit. I really, really like it. That's the only one I think I would have to dull. The rest are looking so lovely and I can't wait to play with them. Let me know what you're thinking of painting. If this was your set, what would you paint with it? Some of these have sparkle and shine. This one has a slight shimmer and it granulated. It's very gorgeous. This one here has a little bit of like flecks of sparkle in it. Remember I thought that it might have some, some holographic pigment added to it. 
So let me bring you up close so you can really see these colors gorgeous. What would you do with these colors? <laughs> I know. I am really loving this color. How it has the pink tones with a little bit of brown into it. I really, really like that. I'm, my brain is going crazy, you guys. Sorry about that, but I just can't stop thinking about what I'm going to paint with this. This is one that has the sparkle. Let's see if I can get it to show. There you go. See the little sparkle, how the light catches it? Those three are so pretty. Then here's the earthy tones, or the more muted ones. See the difference where this one is a lot warmer than this one. This one's more neutral, and I really, really love this color. It's kind of a purple gray. It's really amazing. And I love this blue. I've been searching for a blue that reminds me, like I said, of a winter's day, and that is perfect. This is a really lovely color too. It looks gray, but then it has some kind of purple cast when you kind of move it along. And then this one has, let me see if I can see, see the gold in there? So it's got some gold metallic shine to it. Do you see that? Watch as it moves. Wow. Really pretty. Imagine what that's going to look like on leaves. I also think this is a beautiful palette for skin tones. I mean, some of these darks here would make lovely shadows for skin tones. I don't know that I would use the green. I would use the green, but not with the green and the gold. I think these three as base skin tones too, especially these two would look really, really pretty. If you could add a little bit of orange to them, it would just give you a really nice range of portraiture colors. I'm just really, really loving these colors. If I had to pick a favorite out of it, I think it would be the blue. And I actually think it would be this color because I don't have a color like that and it makes me excited to play with it. Now, if you're gonna order from Art to Basic, I want you to know that Pink Clay, my own color, Pink Clay is now available as an individual pan. I'm so excited about that. I know you guys have been asking and asking and I wanted to share. This is pink clay and green umber. So pink clay is this color, this more peachy color. Green umber, this is mixed with green umber. So green umber is more of this color. They're, it's my favorite color combination for pink clay. So if you are ordering this, go ahead and order pink clay and green umber. You can't go wrong with that. If you were inspired by today's menopause collection from Art to Basic, please like, comment, or subscribe. It will help my channel grow and I would really, really appreciate that. Thanks so much for watching.